how to start this joint off like Lil Wayne. <laughs> Positive vibes though, okay? Pittsburgh, Steelers fans everywhere. All we need to do is win and we're in. We only have three games left to win. See, this is all this good vibes in the air right here. Three games left to win. We beat Tennessee at home. Defense came out and defended what was ours. Defended us. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And now we got to bring that stuff to Kansas City. We got to bring it to Kansas City. We can do it. We're going to need a little bit of help from the offense. I don't know what they, they weren't really there all the way. We're going to need a little bit of help from them. And the defense, y'all keep doing what you're doing. Baby, hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, let's talk about it. things first. That defense, that's to their defense. That was the defense that we, I feel like as fans needed. We needed the turnovers. We needed the takeaways. We needed those fourth down stops. Shout out to Joe Hayden. I mean, it was phenomenal Steelers defense. I'm the one. I'm the one that was like, look, if we're going to beat them, we need the steel curtain. And you guys, that defense brought it, okay? That looked like an old school Steelers defense. Just any way, taking the ball away, making it hurt. Minka had like, I stopped counting Minka's tackles at like seven. I was like, he already got seven tackles or something like that. I don't, I don't need to count no more. He, he having a good day, okay? Uh, picked up the, the fumble, recovered that. I mean, even Devin was so close to having an interception. So close. Uh, Arthur Millett, he had, he, oh my gosh. Everybody had a little bit of action, okay? I don't want anybody on that defense hanging their head because they played lights out. They played phenomenal and they didn't give up. They played from beginning to end and I enjoyed it. TJ, I mean, Cam, uh, uh, I can't, I talk. Everybody, Joe, Schubert, like, come on. Every, everybody on that defense, I'm giving you your flowers, your props, everything, you guys. That was the first time I saw Coach Tomlin come over almost after every series and say something to them. Not every single one, but almost every series. He came over and was chatting with them. You know, I know I couldn't make out everything he was saying, but uh, very encouraging to them. And I appreciate it. The communication on the bench was at an all-time high this week. And I'm I'm so thankful for it. Even from the offense, I mean, you saw Keith Butler very, extremely involved. Uh, Dunbar, as always, involved. But yeah, Mike Tomlin coming over there and talking to those guys, it's just, it was beautiful to see. It was beautiful to see that defense get their act together. Joe Hayden's energy, his energy was missed. I'm not just talking about on the field, off the field as well. He's always smiling, always energetic, always talking. And that is something that defense missed. They missed that spark. I can see a difference. And I'm so happy that um, he's back on the field. I was worried, but I'm so happy he's back on the field, on that sideline with those guys. Even if he was on the sideline while he was injured, it probably still would have been good because he just brings the energy here. Man, I, I can't say any more about how I need those guys to show up in Kansas City this week. I just, I can't say anything else about it. That's just what needs to happen. <laughs> Now, here's where the problem lies. Um, we saw the offense, again, struggling early in the game. That we have to clean up badly. Um, the offensive line is just not clicking. It's just not happening. Um, Najee's not even able to be extremely effective. And it's just like, what is going on? Ugh. You know, Ben's just not getting the proper protection. And I'm like, what happened from Baltimore to now? Like, is Baltimore pass rush that bad? Like, is, that, is, the, is their pass rush that bad? Because everybody else's pass rush looks good, except for, you know, Baltimore, because Ben didn't get sacked then. But he's getting sacked. He's getting touched. He's making throws. Balls are getting batted down. And I just want to know what's going on. Like, what's happening? I, I I don't know what's happening to that offensive line. It looked like I did see some uh, 
pregame practice of Kendrick snapping the ball to Ben. They don't look as high. Um, they didn't look as high in the Tennessee game. So I, I, that's an improvement. Um, but man, I mean, we did see a lot of James Washington. Uh, and, and I think you will. I think you will. You'll see more of him and you'll see more Ray Ray and you'll see a little bit of Claypool. I think um, spreading the ball around is probably a good thing for Ben. Um, but losing Pat um, sucks. It sucks because you guys know I've been rooting for Pat since the beginning of time. So, uh, but Gentry, I think is, I mean, we saw what he did. We saw how he manhandled <laughs> that defense. And I, I would love to see that more of that too. So if we can't use Pat, I'm cool with using Gentry. Like, let's do it. The tight ends are a big key to the success. I've been saying that since the beginning of the season. We got to use them. Um, so with us really only having one guy right now, uh, tight end, like that's, that's, that's going to be tough. So we'll see what happens with, um, you know, the, uh, the concussion protocol with Pat. I don't know. Don't think he, pra he didn't practice today. So we'll see. Um, we'll see, but we have to win. And we all know that COVID is taking over. We know that, you know, we're losing players left and right. And so is the opposing team. Um, we don't know if Tyreek Hill's playing. We don't know if Travis Kelsey's playing. We don't know if um, their kicker is going to be kicking. But what we do know so far is who's going to be on our side of the field. We've lost uh, Devin so far. Uh, we don't know if Mike, uh, Marcus Allen. And he actually got some, like, game time uh, play. He's not just on speed. Was not just on special teams last week. So, uh, so we don't we don't know if if he'll be able to get him back in time. Probably not. Uh, Isaiah Bugs, like he's he's also on the list. So we have some significant guys on the list that play. You know, every week for us, and and we need to be mindful. But we also know next man up. We got you know you guys are professionals, and we need to get in there and we need to fill these spots. Um, but. With that said, I was going into this game very, very worried about um, Tyree Hill. Um, you know, just with his speed. Not that I'm not worried about Travis Kelsey because I am worried about Travis Kelsey. And I'm going to give you the spiel just as if he was slated to go. We don't know. I'm pretending that he's going to be out there. And I'm sure they're probably trying to game plan for him and Tyreek, whether or not they're out there or not. But... What we know we can't do, we're, we, what we know we're not well at defending, no matter who it is and who's on the list, who's not on the list of COVID, is the run game. So although the they aren't running the ball the way some teams have been, we still need to be very concerned with that because we're not the best at stopping it. So we have to really, really focus in and zone in it. We did a little bit better. It had improved. It wasn't great. It wasn't pretty, but it was better. Um... We, we, we got to keep that going, though. We got to we have to make a big leap because teams are going to exploit it. And Tennessee, Tennessee did. They tried. They, you know, they had some really, really good runs on us. I don't want you to think that they didn't. They did. But uh, we got a little bit better. And shout out to Minka, because I'm trying to tell you, man, if we didn't have that man, they would have. And I said this at the game. If you were sitting by me, I said that. If we score 20, we should be good because Tennessee hadn't been scoring 20 plus points. They were averaging, I think, like around 17 points a game. And we managed to score 19 and that happened to be enough. But I was like, we got to score 20. We got like, if we're going to beat them, we got to score 20 points. And we came close, 19. So uh, we we squeezed that one out. And, and it was it was crazy. It was crazy to be in that field, to see those calls, those play, the uh the referees picking up flags, dropping flags, picking them up. It was insane. So I can't imagine what you guys were going through at home, but in the stadium, we were just like, what the heck is happening? Um, and then that last call with the fourth down, like it looked short in the field. I I, I didn't say anything because I wasn't on that side of the field. So it was really hard for me to see, but I listened. And when I heard that side of the field cheering, I was like, okay, all right. He didn't get it. But then, you know, they brought out the chain. I was like, that's a bad spot. And then we saw in the preview, I was like, there's no way he got there. Like, how can they not see that? Um, but I'm glad that they got the call right. 
and um, we were able to proceed and win the football game. So we were able to win that game, okay? So we came out there with the win. There was like a bunch of controversy um, about the Titans standing on the logo before the game. I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't even notice it because I was so focused on my team coming out the tunnel and stuff. I didn't even see it. Uh, but Bud Dupree and them should know better than that. They, you should know better. Don't don't be that type of disrespectful. Whatever. Moving on. It's not. It wasn't a huge big of a deal. Of course, the media likes to make a big deal of it, and the fans do. I don't care. They lost, and and that was the most important part of it. But going back to this week's game in Tennessee, I know I talked about the potential of players not playing, but for us to win regardless of who's on the opposite side of us, we need to have a run game. We need to establish the run. We need to score early and not just rely on Chris Boswell. Um, we really have to get in that end zone. And I know it's probably one of Ben's big things um, that they're, they're probably working on because guess what? Ben practiced on Wednesday. He practiced on Wednesday. So I know these guys are trying really hard to get better. And uh, I think that that our offense is going to take a step up versus a step back or sideways. Um, I really think there's going to be some improvement there because we're really we're still in do or die. Like, I, I think that we have momentum here. Um, and and I say that because the even the games that we lost in the Vikings, we had the strike. Like we were just looking phenomenal in just one quarter, qu quarter, right? The fourth quarter, we were looking really, really good. Um, and we we got to figure out a way to ignite that earlier than we do and not continuously play from behind. I don't know. The, the, the play from behind spark is something that we need. Like, oh, we're down. We got to make something happen. But I would much rather play, you know, ahead and, and, and just hold on to a lead and, you know, keep running. We You know, we don't run the score up on nobody, so I can't even say that. It just doesn't happen. But look, I saw how the Chargers played the Ch Chiefs. The Chargers could have had that game. And we better not be that team like the um, the Chargers that go and leave points out there because you cannot do that with this team. So as much as I don't want Chris Boswell scoring all the points for us, I will take those over going for it on fourth down and with no points and walk out with no points, okay? So whatever we need to do, we need to do to win. I would love to score six instead of three, but if we got to score three to beat these guys, then so be it. So be it. We've been we've been winning by one point. <laughs> and look, if the, we win by one point here, let's get out. Like the W is all that matters at the end of the day, right? Not the not the amount of points, the W. So let's get this W. Let's um and let's show the fans that we're still about it. We still we are still very much alive. And um divisionally, you know, it's it's about to get rough. It's about to get tough. Divisions the division players Teams are playing each other, so it, we still have two more divisional games, and uh, it, it's it's going to get interesting. It's it's going to come down. It, it may very well come down to January 9th, and uh, we have we have to figure that one out, y'all. Fingers crossed. Positive vibes. We got this. We can go in here. This is a, still a winnable game. This offense hasn't shown me anything overly impressive this whole season. I know they're getting better, but they still haven't impressed me. This defense, mm, they showed some sparks, but they ain't, you know, they ain't really all of that. And uh, I know you guys probably think I should talk about Melvin Ingram, but I don't, he didn't show me anything last week worth talking about. So I don't really need to talk about him. You know, he, he hasn't showed me anything saying, oh my God, like, yeah, he, he may know, you know, he, he may have a better idea of our offense. But he hasn't showed me anything, and he didn't even play that much last week against the Chargers. So I don't know why he was complaining about time. He wasn't really getting time there. But anyway, okay, I'm done. That spent enough time on him. <laughs> Positive vibes, right? We're going to go in there. We're going to win it. And what about it? What about it? I will uh, most likely be in Kansas City as long as everything stays on track. I will be in Kansas City. So if you see me, come holla, say hi, whatever. Um, if not, thank you. I want to appreciate everyone that's been, you know, following me, 
um, encouraging me, saying beautiful things, nice, nice things to me. I appreciate you. And most importantly, subscribing and following and all those wonderful things you've been doing. Um, I've been blessed with some amazing opportunities to work with some amazing people. And I'm just so thankful. And I know it's because you guys watch my stuff and you like what you see. So I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. And um, if I don't see you in Kansas City, I will hopefully see you in Pittsburgh for the season finale at Heinz Field. Um, and uh, I love you all. Go Steelers. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.